Hey, I hope y'all are doing well. I'm having a great time. This is day three at the Nautique Southwest Regatta. We're in Parker, Arizona, and uh, we're on the river here. It gets crazy crowded, uh, but we're in the middle of the desert, and it's pretty amazing here. Crystal clear water, and we've got a bunch of the Nautique owners getting together uh, for this big reunion. It's a pretty fun way for everyone to uh, see the new boats all the way to the classics, and right now, I'm standing in a 97. Say what's up to the Lotzes. Hey. hey! Hey, and thank you guys for having us out. This is a, a great boat. This is such like a, a great memory for a lot of us and for myself. We got the high pole, right? The board racks up top. Um, the dash with actual speedometers run by the pedo tube down there. And uh, I gotta pull this thing down. Can you see this with the power boots, air shock plates? This is my first pro model from 1997. Yeah, the 1900s. You wanna ride doubles? Yeah. We're gonna go ride doubles. We got G's all over the place, but we got some classics too, and I love riding behind these things, and uh, check this G out. Oh, that was Dale, my homie. Learning to surf with one arm. Amazing. Um, all right, let's get out on the water. Let's have some fun. Original interior? Original interior. Original owners? Original owners. 97? 97. How many hours? 200, excuse no. me, 920. 920 hours. Yes. This is Yvette's board that I signed in 2000. 2000. And it hasn't been ridden since. Uh, you're gonna ride it today though, right? Well, I'm gonna put my foot in it. And if it feels like I'm not like dangerously compromising my safety, then I'll, then I'll go for it. We'll see. <laughs> You guys got any uh, newt juice or shaving cream? The aloe vera by the other green bottle. There we go. Hey, this used to be a staple. They called it smooch. Aloe vera? Wait, does that rinse out? Yeah. Hold on. This rinses out? Yeah. And it won't hurt the lake or the river. We used to have to think about that. <laughs> Jay, right? Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> This plate is like hanging off of the board. Oh wait, I'm left with board. Gotta spin it around. I don't know what stance to go with on this. Air shock plates, see that technology? This is to cushion the landing, the air shock plate. I had uh, a kid see me using thumb screws on my board not long ago. And he was like, oh man, that's cool. When they start doing those, that's a much better idea than having to get a screwdriver out. <laughs> I said, Bro, I've been doing a lot longer than they were doing the screws. Go like this. And then. All right, Yvette. I hope I don't rip the. Oh, I do not remember mediums being this tight. You think a uh, Tweety Bird's gonna happen on this today? I don't. Tell me if you're good for me to get in. Whoa, not much more. There we
out here and I just don't want to get hurt. It's pretty crazy. There's, there's boats everywhere. My feet are cramping. These things are really tight on my feet. Pretty amazing. The amount of board that I used to ride on. Whoa. to mention all the boats. really rough and so this binding really only holds you from like here down there's nothing up here so it felt like I was wearing just kind of an aggressive crampy sandal um, and the amount of board that wasn't under me was crazy it felt like I was riding kind of a ski um, and I was thinking back to wow I would do quite a lot of tricks on this thing but it was fun it was honestly fun the rolls kind of whip around pretty quickly it's pretty aggressive with its edge and pretty stoked too. This board hasn't been ridden since 2000. since 2000. This board has not been ridden for nearly 20 years and I just took a ride on it. So thank you guys for that. Um, wakes in 97 were a bit smaller. Yes. They were a bit smaller. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like a G wake unweighted is, I don't know, it feels like about four times the size. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a different ball game for sure. If you haven't ridden behind a G like, Massive, but you can have a great time behind these things. I mean, sorry if I'm ruining your plans to get a new G, <laughs> but um, you can have a lot of fun behind this, like for sure. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it makes you work on your fundamentals. Like, here's the thing people want a really big wake a lot of the time, and what I tell people is that a wake, a big wake, is going to magnify something good or bad. So, if you have good habits, you'll go bigger. If you have bad habits, it's gonna make you pay for it with some bad falls, right. Because doing a good wake jump is about maintaining body position, maintaining edge, and that bigger wake is trying to basically almost push you out of it. You've got to stay strong for it. And so um, it's going to magnify good or bad. So don't be so anxious to go and load up a boat until your foundation is solid. We're going to take a quick doubles rip, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. Anytime you want to ride doubles, I totally encourage it. Two things. Be careful. Be safe. Always talk to each other. The other thing is ride the same rope length. My brother and I found out the hard way, don't do that, actually it was me uh, that found out the hard way because I was on a shorter rope, we both threw our ropes up into the air at the same time, his rope wrapped around my leg and I have a scar that goes all the way behind my leg from when I was 11 years old. That was a long time ago. Same rope length, riding doubles. Alright, let's go. the jump but when people cut in they think that you need to like squat down kick off and stand up with the wake but if you're already standing then there is no timing mm -hmm. so if you think about it like when you get double bounced on a trampoline 
you don't have to add anything to what they're giving you. You just have to receive it, right? So they're doing the work, right? All you have to do is just stand strong. The best way to do that is taking a quick tour through the keys, right? K-E-Y-S. Yeah, why not? No, no, this is a... This is where we are, check this out. The sun is blazing 108 degrees yesterday. It's in the morning now, it's a little cooler. Look at this. Look at that bike. Whoa, that's like, that's Waterworld, right? Yeah. Is that Waterworld? Smoker. Talk to me about this, Jake. What do we got? So, we got a pool over our shoulder. You can see in through from the canal. How sick is that? Looks like they have a swim up bar and everything. Hey, so what if we jump in there really quick just to, <laughs> and then jump out? Can you take that out? Trespassing? Mm, maybe. Yeah. Guys, that was a good time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, get out there. Ride behind your boats. Enjoy your boats, whatever year you got. Nautiques. I've been in these things for a long time, and it's great to be back in one. So, this was a great uh, way to wrap up the Southwest Regatta here in Parker, Arizona. If you haven't been to a regatta, check it out. It is a great get together with so many different families and friends and boat history it's uh, a lot of fun on the water but also off the water so make sure you find one near you there's one in alabama there's here in the southwest in arizona appreciate you guys watching thank you for your time questions and comments do that below subscribe maybe hit that notification bell to let you know when i do new videos and as always enjoy your ride peace you can say peace. Peace! That's what I was doing after like, like a month or two. I'm like, this is our spot. I'm like, I'm not following my spot. Yeah. Okay. So, um, when, when you're jumping right now, and I understand why you're doing it, but every time you land, you're back here in the back seat. And the reason is because I'm sure that you've had some, or, or you just know, if I'm not back here and I'm up here, I'm gonna get pulled onto my face, right? Well, a lot of it has to do with, as you're cutting in, you're letting your hips get behind you, and your upper body is ahead of you, right? So then the board is under you rather than out in front of you. When you're in the air, your body position should look like when you're cutting in, like to the wake, or just standing on the water. Okay, so people think that it's like this cartoonish picture of like a surfer or whatever. When they're getting up in the air, it should be this kind of this, but it really should just be here, right? You'll see some people who are good and efficient in their, in their jumps, and it looks like they're not doing anything. It's because they're not. Like, how do they get so high and they're not doing anything? Well, it's because they're relying on their body position to create the cut. The cut creates the push and the pull, and that's what takes you in.